The Bible isn't just a book of random stories. It's 66 different books that come together to tell one story. An incredible about God's love for us. And now for an amazing story inspired by the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 18. Lee turned over in bed to look at the clock and groaned, 2.35 a.m. <laughs> uh, is he going to cry all night? Sure, Lee had spent most of the last 10 years begging her parents for a sibling, but babies were supposed to be cuddly and smiley, not howl all night. Not to mention most of the day. Speaking of which... Where's all that light coming from? Lee staggered to the window. A wild explosion of Christmas lights from next door met her eyes. Oh, Ms. Sue forgot to turn off her lights again. Lee yanked the curtain shut and curled back up in bed again, trying to ignore the never-ending cries. At least we get the tree tomorrow. Every year, Lee's family went out to cut down their Christmas tree the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Then they came home and decorated while drinking Mom's amazing candy cane hot chocolate and listening to their favorite Christmas music. <sighs> Maybe we can get a really tall tree this year. The next morning at breakfast, Lee's parents looked exhausted and bleary-eyed. Baby Tristan, on the other hand, slept peacefully in his swing. We're getting the tree today, right? Mom and Dad exchanged glances. Well, maybe just you and Dad can go. What? No, this is something we do together. I mean, it's Tristan's first Christmas. It's gonna be good. Okay, sweetie, we'll make this a family adventure. Lee hopped up immediately to grab her coat, but it took an entire hour to get out the door and into the car with the diapers and the bottles and the baby gear. The baby slept right through it, and Dad grinned back at Lee. You know, you always slept in the car seat just like that, no matter where we took you. Someone's an angry elf. Can you just pop the pasty in his mouth, Lee? But Tristan spit out the pacifier and kept howling <laughs> for the next 10 minutes. Oh, what is wrong with him? I guess he's not a sleep in the car kind of baby. What was that? The car swerved and dad quickly pulled off the road into an empty parking lot. Oh, I think I drove over a nail. I'm gonna have to change the tire. Tristan cried the entire time Dad was changing the tire. Mom bounced him on her lap. Finally, Lee slithered up to the front and turned on the radio. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. Lee shut off the radio. Ha! <laughs> Someone tell that to Tristan. I know this is tough, Lee. It's a big adjustment for all of us. Dad finally hopped back in, streaked with grease. I'm afraid it's gonna be a bumpy sleigh ride on the spare tire. Everybody all set? Actually, I think we better go back home. It's Tristan's nap time and he is clearly not going to sleep in this car. Seriously? Look, there's the home stop store. They've got pre-cut trees. But we always cut our own. Maybe you and dad can go tomorrow. <laughs> Never mind, whatever. Let's just get one now. Now, none of the pre-cut trees were as tall as Lee had hoped, but they picked one anyway. At home, both Tristan and Mom disappeared for naps, leaving Dad and Lee to decorate. What about the candy cane hot chocolate? We can use the little cocoa packets. Uh, but Mom always makes it from scratch. <sighs> Too frustrated to even hang decorations, Lee grabbed her coat and stalked outside. In the early dusk, Miss Sue's explosion of Christmas lights shone brightly next door. Wonder what she wrote this year. Every Christmas, Miss Sue added new decorations and used lights to spell something all the way across the front of her house. You like it? Lee turned to find Miss Sue standing next to her, wearing a light-up elf hat over her pink-dyed, pixie-cut hair. Sure is, um, bright. Yeah. <laughs> I added the candy cane forest and swirly twirly gumdrops this year. Oh, well, like from Elf? I love that movie. <laughs> Miss Sue grinned and nodded. <laughs> I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, what does it say on your house this year? I can't quite see it from here. Always something. Always be grateful. Oh, 
Mm -hmm. It's kind of the short form of a Bible verse I really like. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank him because you believe in Christ Jesus. Oh, sounds more like Thanksgiving than Christmas. Well, myself, I think they fit right together like chocolate and peppermint. How's the new baby? Okay, I guess. Not really what I expected. Huh? Never met a baby who was. Now, I gotta go put Santa's sleigh on the roof, but you come by for hot cocoa anytime you want. Deal? Deal! Lee watched Miss Sue go. Then she turned back to her own house where she saw her dad decorating the tree by himself. It actually was a pretty good tree. And baby Tristan was super cute even when he was crying. Even though Christmas was turning out way different this year, God's big gift hadn't changed. Lee took a deep breath and headed back inside. Hey kiddo, cold out there, huh? Feels like Christmas. Can I hang up the Rudolph characters? Yeah, sure thing. And dad? I bet baby Jesus did cry. <laughs> yeah, won't argue with you there. Together, Lee and her dad finished decorating the tree. It was always easier to focus on the disappointing things, but this Christmas, Lee was determined to look for ways to be grateful instead. 